Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Photoshop to make a photo mandala. My photo mandala is autobiographical. It's about things that I love and hobbies that I have, such as corgis, gardening, and bird watching. Your mandala can be whatever subject you want, but it should be three layers or more. Let's get started. Go to File, New, and title your document. Make sure that the units are set to pixels and the width should be 1200 and the height should be 1200. Make the resolution 150. Click Create. Now I need some rulers to make some guidelines. Go to View, Rulers. If necessary, you have to right click on the ruler and change it to pixels. Now what I'm going to do is click right on this ruler and hold and drag down a guideline to 600 which is half of 1200. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Click and drag directly on this ruler and put another guideline at 600. So this is the center of my canvas. My first image is this corgi. I chose to use the object selection tool to cut this out. You might use all sorts of different selection tools depending on what your subject is. Photoshop did an excellent job selecting the corgi, so I'm going to go to Control or Command C to copy that. Go back to my canvas and Control or Command V to paste. Control T to get the transform controls and I'll shrink that down and I just have to estimate. I'm not sure what exactly the right size will be but I'm going to say that's about right. Now check mark. Keyboard shortcuts control or command J to make a copy and you can see I've torn off my layers panel and put it here on the side so that I can um, see what's happening with my layers. So here's my copy. I'm going to go to um, Control or Command T again for transform and look at this little um, circle here in the center. I'm going to click that and drag it and place it right at the center of the canvas. This is the rotation point. So once I set that to where I want it, now when I rotate the corgi, it rotates from that spot. So. Uh, let's see, I think I'm going to be able to fit about three corgis here, so I have to estimate so that I have enough room um, to place three of them. Check mark. Now Control or Command J to make a copy. Control or Command T to get my transform tools. Grab my center rotation point, put it in the center of the canvas. Whoops and rotate that. So I'm estimating this approximately the same distance. That looks pretty good. Okay, now that I have three of these, I am going to go over here to my Layers panel, click the top one, hold down Shift and click the bottom one. So you can see that all three of them are selected now. So this time when I do Control or Command J, watch what happens. It copied all three of them. So Control T, to get my transform tool, controller command T, set my rotation point, and now I can rotate all three corgis. Control or command J. Oops, I need to, I forgot to click my check mark. Control or command J to make copies. Control or command T move my rotation point to the center and rotate that around. So now that I have this finished, I can click my top corgi layer, hold down shift and click the bottom one, right click over that and I can merge layers. So now instead of having nine copies, it's just one layer.
Now what if you need to resize the corgi layer? I'm going to go ahead and click it to make it active and um, V on the keyboard to make sure that the selection tool is selected. Then Control or Command T for the transform tools. Now if you hold down Alt while you're clicking and dragging on the corner handles, you'll notice that it uh, the image layer will scale evenly from the sides towards the center, which is very helpful when you're making a Mandela. Let's go get the wildflowers. So I used a different selection tool for the wildflowers. I chose the middle one, the quick selection tool. And um, I'll select this bottom part. And then when we get up here to the top, I just want these yellow flowers. This red flower, that yellow flower, that looks about right. OK, so Control C to copy. I'm going to go to my Mandela, Control V to paste, but I want it behind the corgis. So I'm going to take this layer and drag it and put it underneath. Then uh, V on the keyboard to get my move tool. I will drag that up. Command or Control J to make a copy. And if you need to, um, Command or Control T to get the transform tool. Move that rotation point. And I noticed, I think it looks better if I rotate my flowers counterclockwise instead of clockwise. So I'm going to do it that way. And click the first one, hold down shift, click the last one, right click and merge visible. And I will just keep constructing my Mandela using a similar process until the whole thing is finished. Now if I go to this Mandela, a couple of things that I did was on the Corgi layer, it um, blended in a bit too much with the background, so I put a stroke on it. So there it is without the stroke. You can see that the Corgi really blends in with the background. And there if I turn the stroke on, the corgi stand out a lot more. I also made a green background. I played around with making a gradient background. So you can um, try out different effects and see what you like the best. That's it for this video everyone. Have fun!